I'm down here at the Mississippi River Valley with my 20 month old F2 Lycan Shepherd Cuckoo. And uh, we're on a hike. I hope you enjoy it. I also have with me the stunningly beautiful Hi, Tammy and uh, my Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan. Boy, Puko. This is an early uh, training hike for Puko. We've got him out with his dad today. Kurgan is uh, one of the foundation dogs for the Lycan Shepherd Project. Pucos from our F2 generation. You can see he's a, he's a big boy for being only 20 months, or 20 weeks, I mean. I think he stands a good chance of being Kurgan size. Kurgan's uh, 32 inches at the shoulder and in very lean athletic condition, uh, about 120 pounds. Good boys. Absolutely beautiful morning. It's what, about 8.39? Yeah. pause and pick this up just a moment now that uh, that's taken care of Boys, go. It is. It is. Uh, like yeah, stunningly beautiful. I love it when you get the ice on the water like that before it's been snowed on top of.
This is beautiful. Come here, Kurgan. <laughs> you see the big smile on his face? Puko! Come here, Puko! Come on! Look at him smiling too. Oh boy! Now, as I mentioned in other videos, when you hear me whistling to my dogs, I'm not calling them to me. It's more of a stick around command. I'm kind of letting them know where we are. Uh, I want them to stay in my area. If I want them to come directly to me, I, I use their name. Puko. Good boy. Man, it's just beautiful, huh? Mm, absolutely perfect day. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Almost fell. Almost. <laughs> Gergen. Puko, come here. Boy. Nice. I was kind of hoping the stuff would be frozen. Whoops. <laughs> mm. We might be stuck uh, working our way back over to the river to wash them off before going in the truck. Yeah. Or running them through some deep snow. That's pretty good for cleaning them off too actually. Yeah, I suppose, because it's what, about 34 right now? Yeah. Temperature wise, so it's just above freezing. <whistles> so, again, when they get out of sight, I'll give them a little whistle here and there just to uh, let them know to stay in my vicinity. And uh, if they're not responding to that, I use the stick around command. Kurgan. Good boy. That right there, that big little island, it's huge when you get up to it, but from here it looks kind of little, like a little island. It's a massive beaver lodge. A lot of beaver in the area. What's up, Puko? Handsome. Yeah, he's looking pretty happy. As I was saying, that's a, a massive beaver lodge out there. Oh wow, look at this, Jim. Yeah. Take the dry route. Of course, you're not gonna, right, Kurgan? <laughs> yeah, look at him having fun. 
coming up on a cave that I've showed in past videos. Good boys. Yeah, somebody probably had a party. Kids party in these quite a bit. Puko, come here. See, he's pretty responsive. He listens very well. Good boy. Yeah, this is sandstone. This stuff is pretty soft. You don't ever want to make a fire in one of these caves because it dries out the ceiling and it can collapse on you. Of course, Puko playing with the jug. Their favorite toy is uh, at my house. these things too. We used to uh, take pick <laughs> pickaxes and shovels and dig into these things. You can, you can, these are it's pretty easy to dig into this stuff. Kirk and Pete on it. Did he? <laughs> well, I guess it's his now. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be coming up to this, uh, Kind of little natural spring waterfall that's kind of cool. I've showed in past videos. So guys, oh, you're caught. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this is going to be one of the last you know, days. Yeah, we're supposed to have a big cold front coming through. Yeah, super cold. This is another cave. It's kind of the entrance is kind of collapsed. If you come up here, you can actually dig away down there and get into the entrance. Uh, I've been in it before, but a bunch of the hillside here has fallen down onto it since then. It used to kind of come up here more too. Yeah. There's all kinds of little caves around here everywhere. You're good. What? It does a little bit. Yeah. Uh, See, there's that uh, natural spring I was talking about. Look at Kurgan laying in the water. <laughs> Kurgan loves water. Good, get all that mud off you. Yeah, it's okay with me. <laughs> right? right. But yeah, isn't that beautiful? Aww. And it freezes into all different shapes each year. <laughs> But this is Puko's first visit here. Kirk has been here since coming here since he was a pup. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it seems like stuff's falling. 
Yeah. Yeah, stuff's always falling in here. This is all sandstone around the sides here, so, you know, over time this area gets bigger and bigger. Almost looks like there should be uh, yeah. statuary in those right? things. <laughs> like a little natural cathedral. Nature is my church. Oh. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. It is. I could just sit here and absorb the sound. I love the sound of the water. Okay. Yeah, it is. You having fun, little buddy? Kurgan, Puko. Kurgan. See uh, potential for a good shot here. <laughs> good boy. Come on, Puko. Nice. Way to block my shot, Kurgan. <laughs> He's doing a lobo. He is. Gergen Puko. Good boys. Good boy. So you want to try hitting that upper ridge trail or? Sure. Okay. It's going to be probably muddy going through here, but we can always rinse them back off in those pools there. Yeah, I do too, just uh, not all over the Jeep. <laughs> yeah, I came this way today because I was expecting everything to be frozen, but uh, you should have thought with a Beam 34 that it would. Huh? Yeah. Let's uh, go through this way. Managed to miss all that. That big mass up there in that tree, that's a, uh, a big eagle's nest. I know because I, I see them in it all the time. I've even uh, filmed them up in that tree there. In fact, we look around, they could be perched uh, in one of the surrounding trees watching us right now. Puko's too big to be game size, so I don't worry about the the dogs. When I have little puppies, I do though. Kurgan! Good boy. Now, right there, I don't know if you can see that kind of spot in the rocks there. There's a cave right there that you can go down into. I don't feel like climbing down in there though because we'll get full of mud right now if everything's so wet. But I've showed that in past videos.
you know, we're walking through a, a wetland that's uh, part of the floodplain in the Mississippi River Valley. Got my trusty ice chains on my boots. They uh, really come in handy when conditions are uh, slippery. I wear them on my boots probably five months out of the year for these type of hikes. Hey, way to go, buddy. Yeah. See again, they were up ahead out of my sight, so I give a whistle just to let them know to stay in my area. Good boy, Puko. Good boy, Kurgan. Stick around. Oh, does this smell swampy, Tim? Yeah, stinky. Yuck. <laughs> so I said, I said, stick around. So he waited till we got up where he could see us. And now if you look, he's right over here waiting for us. And that's basically what the stick around command means. Stay in my vicinity. Well, Kurgan, Fuko, come here. Good boy. Good boy, Pook Man. I think we're going to end this clip here. It's gotten pretty long. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. You'll get email notifications when our new videos come out. Bye from myself. Bye, guys. The beautiful Have a good Tammy, one. Kurgan, and Puko. See ya. Clip two coming up.